Welcome to lesson one. In lesson one, we're going to set up Google Analytics, okay? These first two lessons are going to kind of be intertwined. So we need Google Tag Manager to fully set up Google Analytics. But for right now, we're just going to create our Google Analytics account. So if you click on this link, um, it's going to take you to analytics.google.com. So if you go ahead and click on this link, it's going to ask you to sign in to Google. Now we want to use the Google Workspace email that you created to do this. Okay, so go ahead and type that in. Mine is just jeff at youcanmath.com. Hit next, type in your password, hit next, and then it's going to take you to this screen. You're going to hit start measuring. You're going to type in an account name. This will just be your website. Untick this bottom box and hit next. In here, you're just going to put in your website again. And then put in your time zone your currency. All right, and then under the advanced settings, it says create a universal analytics property. We don't need to worry about that, so just ignore that and hit next. And all this information is optional, so you can just skip it, hit create. And then it's gonna ask you where you're at, so you put in United States or wherever you're based out of, scroll to the bottom and click accept. I don't like getting all these emails, so I turn them all off. And then you can go through this if you want. This will just kind of guide you through the process. I'm gonna, we're setting this up on a website, so we're gonna hit web, and then we're gonna type in the URL of our website. And then we're gonna put the same thing over here. And then hit create stream. And on this page, you're gonna see that you have your stream ID and your measurement ID. These are the things that we're going to use to set up Google Tag Manager. And they actually gave us the code right there. So that's kind of cool. And you can get to those instructions right here. This is new, so this is not usually there. So that's kind of cool that it gives it to you right here. Normally we'd have to go into Google Tag Manager, which is the way I'm going to show you because we have to set it up anyways. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it that way. But you can copy this code right now because we're gonna paste it into our websites here in a minute. So if you wanna copy that, that's fine. And that's it for lesson one. We have our first data stream set up. Let's head on to lesson two and talk about Google Tag Manager.